So a performance objective is really taking one of the objectives that you've developed and adding two key components, condition and criteria. So for example, perform a safe lifting procedure is the objective that uh, you might have developed. Now, using a Hoyer lift to perform a safe lifting procedure without endangering the, the patient is a performance objective. The condition is using the Hoyer lift. The objective, perform a safe lifting procedure. Without endangering the patient is the criteria. So clearly defined performance objectives provide the basis for the selection, design of instructional materials, content, techniques. They provide the learner the information and means to accomplish the learning task. And they create a basis for determining when the instruction purpose has been accomplished. So the DACOM chart really focuses on the planning. The performance objectives start to move us towards some of the assessment and uh, some of the lesson planning components that you will also use because you will take a performance objective and incorporate that into a lesson plan as well. So the characteristics of a good performance objective, they have to be learner-centered, appropriate scale and scope, very clear and simple, and the performance, the condition, and the criteria have to be clearly defined. So, performance objectives come out of your DACOM. They're learner-centered, appropriate scale and scope, clear and simple. You've got the condition and their criteria. Here's an example. Given the workflow diagram of a good-sized publishing company, the student will identify at least three departments within the company. Okay, so the objective is the student will identify departments within the company. The condition is, given the workflow diagram of a good-sized publishing company, and the criteria is at least three departments. You'll notice that um, the condition and criteria can actually be in different sections within the statement. Let's take a look at another example. Using scenarios provided on the handout, the student will display active listening techniques using paraphrasing, paraphrasing open body attitudes, and non-judgmental language. So the objective is the student will display active listening techniques. The condition is using scenarios provided in the handout. And then the assessment or the criteria is using paraphrasing open body attitudes and non-judgmental languages. Now, there's much more information in the Performance Objectives PDF. Um, you really should take a, a good look at this document, read through it, utilize it, and as you're building out your 10 performance objectives for your day come, um, refer back to this video, and if you have any issues or questions that you need dealt with, don't hesitate to contact me.